forgive me this week. <laughs> Um, it's been, it's been, it's been a rough week. It's only been a week and it's been a rough week. Oh my goodness. Um, so this pregnancy diaries is week nine, which is crazy, but I've just, I've had a really rough day. We're going to get into how I've been feeling and everything, but like I've been up and down, up and down one second. I'm super motivated to film and the next I'm over the toilet throwing up. So this lighting though <laughs> it's a little too bright let's turn that down shall we oh goodness gracious it is the end of the day um it's 9 24 currently i am trying to have some lunch i went to work for a little bit today was like a super simple day just a couple hours of prep anyways i'm gonna go right into our app because my phone is actually about to die to be honest with you um so we're just gonna jump in really really quick if you're new to my pregnancy diaries i have an app on my phone really fantastic app um but it shows what my baby's looking like this week so um, actually, I forgot I forgot to mention, um, maybe you can see it a little bit better. I'll throw in a quick clip here. Ella has been obsessed with playing with this app, so I'll show you that real fast. Send it to Daddy. Show me the baby, honey. It's, it's right here. It's not really, let me see. It's not really focusing on it. There's the baby. Hey. Do you like the baby? Yeah. Come here. I have the clear head, you can see its bones. Yeah, you can see its bones, that's right. What is that? It's a spine. The spine? Oh. And what can you do to the baby? What were you doing? Look at his little tongue. Meep. Meep, meep. <laughs> oh, it's again. Aw. And what's that tube for? That's why the food goes down in the baby. That's right, that's how oh. the baby eats. Uh, she's been doing that all week, by the way. Um, pretty much since she found out that she was having a brother or sister, she plays with this app almost every day. Um, but what's going on with the baby? We are 0.14 ounces. Um, the fingers and toes have become properly separated, separated, losing any webbing. The eyes are moving from the sides of the head to the front, which they'll eventually be located. And, oops, there was one other thing. Let's see, the bone development continues and you can even start to see joints, so joint development. What is going on with my body? <laughs> let's, let's take a quick look. Um, so technically I'm nine weeks and uh, two days pregnant. We have 30 weeks and nine days left, so we're about a quarter of the way there already, which is crazy. My baby is now the size of a date. So last week it was a strawberry, the size it's a date. The beginning of week 10, which will technically be next week, is the end of the embryotic period and the beginning of the fetal period. So that's pretty exciting. We're moving into a new thing. There is a lot of information. Holy smoke, holy smoke. <laughs> I just feel like my phone's gonna die before I can get all the information. Let's see. Ooh, excess hair growth during pregnancy. <laughs> Y'all know I don't need that. Oh, okay, your baby, this is what I wanted. By the way, if you hear fireworks, for some reason in the States, we start like a week before doing fireworks on 4th of July. How convenient. Okay, the kidneys, the liver, brain, and lungs are all beginning to function and the heart is almost fully developed. Your baby's head is now half the size of the body and that little tail that makes a him or her resemble a tadpole is starting to disappear. The, with ultrasound Doppler, you, um, your doctor may be even able to hear the heartbeat depending on the position for the baby. It may not be until week 14 before the heartbeat can be heard. So my appointment is not next week. When the heck? That's pretty much what's going on with the app. Let me grab my planner. Let's see, I swear, now with like Ella starting school, I have to keep a planner or like I, I lose track of absolutely everything. There's literally nothing going on for the rest of June, but then July and August, we definitely pick up again. So my next doctor appointment is July 18th. So we got about another two weeks. Um, I have to get blood work at least done by the 11th, which I'm so scared of. I hate that. Um, 
but yeah, so uh, July 18th, I might be getting, I don't know if there, I can't remember, I wish I remembered what the doctor said. I don't remember if I'm getting my first, first ultrasound then or not. Um, but like, I, again, I've been like, there's like so many people that are pregnant that I know right now that are due around the same time and they've all had their first ultrasound. So I don't know, I, I don't know, I want one. You know what I mean? Like with Ella, I got one so quickly. And I just haven't even been able to see my baby yet. Um, so that's that. Now let's, I got, I, again, I got my food in front of me. So I'm going to kind of talk and eat a little bit. Um, I don't know how much I can eat. But we got a lot to catch up on, guys. <laughs> so what has been going on? So my the biggest thing that I've been complaining about over the past couple of weeks is obviously my morning sickness. I introduced that I was taking B6 and unisom which actually i have to take both of these so it's convenient that i'm talking about them um and i should eat them with food um but my morning sickness has been a little bit better um not by much there are some days that are certainly again worse than others but i've been able to hold down a little bit more food than i have been i think um there are certain foods that are definitely getting me smell wise like garlic was setting off my um, senses a little bit too much. I did not like it. And also, oh, that was one other thing that I didn't mention. The embryotic fluid that my baby is swimming in is starting to, to taste to them what I eat. So like certain things, like Ella, when I was pregnant with her, buffalo like set me off. <laughs> so, and she still doesn't like spicy food. So the baby kind of you know, reacts to what I'm eating. So I remember having like garlic cloves um, over by the stove and every time I went to the stove, I'm like, what is that smell? And at first I thought like maybe there was like food that fell in the, in the stove or something that wasn't cleaned out properly. And then I sniffed the garlic and I'm like, oh, good Lord. So garlic is setting me off right now, which is <clears throat> disappointing. I'm cutting my, uh, B6 and half by the way because that is the dosage so that's all I'm doing I'm gonna need a drink though so my morning sickness that's nothing new we've been talking about that hopefully it'll be over in the next couple of weeks up to a month I'm hoping that just mid-July it'll all be over <laughs> we'll see though so that's you know of course I'm still dealing with that oh there goes my unisom <laughs> um the other thing that I've been dealing with is back pain and it's more so at night. Like, I feel like I cannot get comfortable with my back at night at all. And they recommend sleeping on your left side to get the best blood flow to your baby. But I love sleeping on my right side. So I'm trying to get into the habit of sleeping on my left. But that hasn't really affected my um, back pain at all. I just have a really hard time getting comfortable at night. And then I'm kind of having like an insomnia. Now I do talk about this in a vlog that's like coming up. Um, but I am like super, super tired. Like I'll get like 10 hours of sleep and like two hours after being awake, I want to take a nap again, which is normal, especially during your first trimester. But then like when it actually comes time to go to bed at night, like here I am at 9.32 filming a YouTube video because I don't feel, like I feel tired, but I know the minute that I lie down, I'm just going to be tossing and turning. And to be honest, my stomach is kind of starting to turn as I speak right now. Like I can't wear anything, like even this dress that I'm wearing, has this little like elastic piece even that pressing on my belly kind of makes it like really uncomfortable so i'm just trying to adjust that i'll show you my belly you know of course like i have been every week there's not much of a difference but it's poking out now so you know insomnia has been a thing i've been waking up like numerous times a night for different reasons um i have to urinate much more often i am one of those people that like I went before bed and then I didn't have to go again until I woke up and ever since being pregnant like I have to wake up s numerous times throughout the night to go to the bathroom occasionally I'll get sick during the night but not that often and then um just purely waking up like I'll wake up either from like a very bizarre dream like my dreams have been very very strange and it's it's funny because I never used to like remember my dreams like I know you're like supposed to dream every night or something but like the people who say they don't have dreams like just don't remember them 
I was one of those people where like very occasionally I would have dreams that I would remember but ever since I've been pregnant almost every night I've had dreams and I can remember dreams that I had like a week ago you know how typically you kind of like forget it right away like I remember vividly some of my dreams and they range from like seeing my new baby all the way to TJ cheating on me <laughs> like just very strange dreams and you know at the time like they're scary to you or whatever but then when I'm explaining them to someone they're like that was your nightmare and I'm like well you know my heart was pounding out of my chest and stuff and TJ even recommended me wearing my Apple Watch to bed just to see my heart rate. <laughs> so, you know, so I've had some dreams that kind of like jolt me awake, but it's just very bizarre that I'm able to remember them. So, that you know, that's another thing is just these very, very... Uh, there's a word that I'm trying to think of. L lucid dream? I don't think that's the right word, but like very vivid very vivid and very real dreams at the time. Let me get a quick drink of water. Fun little fact about me. I don't, I think maybe I've talked about it, but not much. I have a fear of um, like choking and stuff or like suffocating. So I can't psychologically take my pills in a pill form because I feel like I'm gonna choke on them. So I have to crush them up and it's disgusting. <laughs> Especially the Unisom, it's so gross. So I need to have like a, like a backup, like I gotta take a bite of something real quick after this, like, ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Mmm, it was mashed potato. Okay. God. Yeah, it's been a fun month, guys. <laughs> I have to do that twice a day, not with the Unisom, but with the B6. And then another thing that I've been dealing with is these excruciating headaches. Oh, that mashed potato like made my stomach kind of churn a little bit. Like I feel like I want to throw up right now to be totally honest with you. Um, maybe I, ugh, found my lips. Maybe I should have taken that after I threw up or something. It's just like that feeling that sits in your stomach, you know, when like you feel like you have to. But it's like, I don't want to. I'm so sick of throwing up, and like not being able to keep food down. But like the food sitting in front of me is not appealing to me whatsoever right now. Um, but what I was saying is another thing I've had to be taken is Tylenol because I've been dealing with like excruciating headaches. I feel like I need to take a second. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that was literally pointless to take because it all just came up. Okay, so that's been happening. And I feel like I kind of, oh, I shouldn't have eaten something with gravy, I don't think. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I that was gross. I just, I felt like I had to get it out because I knew if I go upstairs after filming this video, I'm just gonna sit there and feel disgusting until I do it anyway, so. Sometimes I just have to have it come out. Um, so yeah, I've been dealing with really bad headaches. So I looked up what pregnant women can take and we are allowed to take um, Tylenol. This is the extra strength. It's 500 milligrams, which sounds, like these are friggin' like horse tranquil tranquilizers. Remember, I can't swallow this. So what do you think I have to do to this? <laughs> to crush it up and eat it, that is. So it's 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 been a lot just between trying to take all this medication in pill form and then not even being able to really keep anything down. Like I just took medication and it just came back up. You know what I mean? It's been a really tough month. <laughs> it's been a really, really hard month. What was the other thing? I mentioned, again, I mentioned it in the vlog that like anything with sugar has been setting me off. Like if I ate a candy bar, it would come straight up and it's been so annoying because even like ice creams um what did i have the other day i had these peanut butter crackers and it just it didn't sit right um i just bought like a big bag of rollos because i'm craving them but i don't think i can have them until at least this first trimester is over um and then it's weird because like i have such a bad 
I'm like, I don't want to say addiction, but like, I love soda. Like, it's so bad for you, but I love Coke. And like, sometimes it helps settle my stomach, but then like other times, like that's what came up. You know what I mean? I, I had that at work. I think it's just doing more harm than it is good. And I know that I should be avoiding more caffeine um, when I'm pregnant anyways. Like luckily I'm already not a coffee drinker. So like that wasn't a problem to give up, but like chocolate has caffeine in it. Cola obviously has caffeine in it. So I feel like even though like it would just settle my stomach a little bit, like it's come up more often. So I think I just, I'm, I'm able to drink, um, I feel like I might have to get sick again soon, but I'm able to drink, oh yeah, it's definitely not all the way up. <laughs> I'm able to drink like simply lemonade. So that's kind of been like my go-to drink and stuff. But basically I've just been kind of all over the place. We talked about the back pain, the headaches, the insomnia, Morning sickness, obviously, my diet. Oh, I feel gross, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna try to get through the rest of this video as best as I can. But I think what I'm gonna do is take this week and go completely soda free, because I'm telling you, that's all that's coming up right now. Um, so I'm gonna see how I feel without going with soda. I kind of felt like that was like helping my stomach mellow out a little bit, but I think it might be contributing a little bit more than I actually thought it was. So I'll look out for week 10 because I will have an update on that and I'm gonna stay true to that because I got this video. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit more obligated to hold on to that promise, you know? So I'm gonna go a week without soda, just try water and lemonade and stuff like that, like sip some juices, but I feel disgusting. So I'm gonna try to finish doing what I gotta do in there. I'm gonna show you guys my belly and then we're gonna end this and I am going to try to get this edited tonight, if not tomorrow, and then we'll have it up for Sunday. So let me show you my belly real quick. Oh, one other thing before I forget, actually, cause I just looked in the mirror, is I'm breaking out like crazy too. And like in the weirdest spots, like I broke out here, broke out here, a little bit on my chest, like you can see here, 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 all on my forehead, like <clears throat> I don't know, we have a little bit little bit of growth. I guess I could be wearing something tighter, but there's definitely a belly poking out and that is that is not something that I can squish back. So we have a little bit more growth um, than normal than last week, I think. So anyways, guys, I really need to put this vlog to an end because I keep going into that bathroom. Thank you again so much for watching. I am excited to see what update we have for next week, um, entering the fetal period. Um, and also I'm excited to see what cutting soda out completely does for my health. Um, and hopefully next week we'll feel a little bit better. Maybe I'll be able to sleep a little bit better. Maybe my morning sickness won't be as bad. We'll see, but we won't know until next week. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any new updates, please hit that subscribe button while you're down there and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.